Hello everyone, Rosemary here from the Lavinia Stamps Design Team. Um, today I'd like to share with you a, this tutorial. I made this card for one of the challenges a few months ago and I really liked it, I thought it was quite pretty, so I thought I'd share it with you today. So the items that you're going to need are Versafine Clear in Nocturne. You're going to need your Elements inks if you have them or equivalent colours of any other ink that you might use. Um, I'm using Confetti and Russet Orange. You'll also need a brayer. This is a soft one, soft rubber one. It's very nice, quite heavy as well. You'll also need the Happiness Stamp from the Three Blessings set. So I'm going to be using that one. Um, you'll need some acrylic blocks and you'll also need your honeysuckle stamp. I really like this stamp. I think it's very, very pretty. I'm also going to be using the Replenish stencil, which is one of the newer ones. You'll also need a um, brush, um, a tiny paint brush to paint your um, image with. I'm also going to use a jelly roll pen, a gold one, and I'm also going to use um, some sparkle pens. If you have sparkle pens, I'm using holly leaf and watermelon, but any colouring medium will do. I just like them because they give you a little bit of sparkle. And I'm also going to be using the elliptical jelly plate from Lavinia Stamps. Okay. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial and um, you can tag me if you make the card. Um, so to start with, I've got a piece of A5 multifarious card. And once I've done my pattern on it, I will be cutting it down to put on top of my um, blank card base. OK, um, so that's what we're starting with. So I'll put that to one side at the moment. And to start with, we need our confetti element sink, which is like a lovely pink colour. And I'm just going to gently roll my brayer into the ink. And then once I've done that, I'm just going to gently reel it across my piece of scrap paper. And gently put my brayer over my jelly plate and then I take my piece of card and place it if I take my piece of card and put it on there and turn this over I might be able to centralize it easier as I'll be able to see what I'm doing press down gently And then turn it back over and just rub gently with your hand, not too hard, just very gently. I'm going to put the lid on my ink. I'm going to move that out of the way for the moment. And then I'm going to peel off, and that's my image. So I don't need this anymore, so I'm going to put that well away. And the next task now is to do our stenciling. So as I said, we're going to use the Replenish stencil and our Russet Orange. I'm going to place my stencil over there. I'm going to hold it down with some low tack tape just at the top just so I can lift and place it back in the same place if I need to so there we go and then I'm get, getting my blending brush I'm going to gently dab in there and then just dab it off a little bit and then I'm just going to use very light strokes 
keeping inside the edge of my oval. And then gently brush over. my card and I can just hold that part in place and I can lift and see I think down the bottom I have just a little bit more in I think just a little bit more I think that'll be fine now there we go that over there for a wash later and that's the first, first part of our card done already. Okay, so the next part we're going to do is our stamping. So I need my low tack tape again because I'm just going to mask off a little bit of the stamp. So I don't want it to go over the edge. So I'm going to place my honeysuckle stamp onto my <clears throat> acrylic board. There we go. Onto my acrylic board. And I'm going to get my little bit of tape ready. And I'm going to stamp on my sponge mat. I just really do prefer to stamp onto a sponge mat. I'll try and keep it nice and clean. I just put a piece of paper underneath it. <clears throat> okay, so on our card we stamped this one coming this way. So as you can see, it just goes over that little bit. So I'm just going to get a little bit of masking tape and cover that area about there. And then I'm going to ink up my ink. Pad, with my ink pad, my nocturne ink pad, my stamp. So I gently press two or three times over the top, two or three, maybe four or five, just to make sure the ink's all over. Wipe off any that's gone on the acrylic block. And then I'm just going to, I'm looking at the other one. Making sure I'm keeping it all inside my oval. I'm going to press there. I'm not pressing hard, I'm just pressing very, very lightly. Try all over my stamp. Leaving it there so that the ink can soak in <coughs> to the card. Because it soaks into the multivarious card quite well. And then I'm going to lift, and there's our first image. And then our second image, I'm going to remove this, throw that away. I never use my tape twice if it's got um, ink on it. And because I'm going to come in from this side now, I'm going to put my tape over there. I'll turn my card. And once again, <coughs> sorry, tap. Tap our ink pad. And then I'm going to bring this in towards the other one making sure that it stays inside the oval. And once again, press, just press down all over for a few seconds, minutes or a minute, just to let the ink soak in once again to the card. And lift, and there we go. Remove that straight away. And that's our stamping done. So we don't need that stamp anymore. So we'll put that over there out of the way. 
Right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to actually colour our image. But before I do that, I just need to give it a quick blast as it's still wet. Didn't, do, didn't think to do a blue Peter one, but never mind. Let's give it a quick blast. should be okay okay so we don't need our mat anymore at the moment so the next thing we're going to do is color our image So to start with, I'm going to do the pink first. I'm going to give it a bit of a shake. I'm going to spray some water onto my mat. And then I'm going to squidge my pen on there. So with a very thin or thinnish paintbrush, I'm just going to mix a little bit of water in. And then I'm just going to paint paint my image, my honeysuckle. Okay, so that's our flower done. I don't know if you can see the sparkle, but it is sparkling. So I'm going to wipe up that ink there. You can see you don't need a lot of ink. I have used watercolours and pencils to, to colour in my flower before now. So the next thing we're going to do is the green on the leaves and the stems. <clears throat> so I've still got pink on my brush, but because it's a darker colour, it won't really show up. So.
and that's our card coloured in. I, I did forget to do these two long ones, so I did them while I when I finished the green. I don't know if you noticed that. <clears throat> so the next thing we need to do is to stamp our happiness stamp. So we need our black mock turn again. Verse fine clear. And I'm going to stamp in this space here that I've left. And I'm just placing it down and pressing and holding so that the ink soaks into the card. I haven't used my piece of sponge, so hopefully it will come out. There we go. So that's our card virtually finished. So all we need to do now is to go around the last part of our card. Go around the last part of our card. gold pin And there we have our card. That's our topper actually virtually complete. So all we do now is cut that down. And as you can see on my original card, I cut one centimetre either side, top and, top and bottom on both sides. And it took my card down to 11 and a half centimetres by 16 and a half centimetres. No, sorry, that's the size of the card to start with. Um, it took it down to 17 and a half centimetres by 12 centimetres. And then the card itself was half an A, it was an A4 card um, folded in half and that is cut down to 18 and a half by 13 centimetres to make a pretty little card. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you have a, um, a go at doing it, Please um, tag me in your post if you post on Facebook or anything. Um, you can put a few splatters on it if you wish. This was another card I made in the same way. But this one has got little bits of glitter on it. You can add them if you wish. I've added them a little bit of a sparkle pen on that one. I think I might just add white onto here. Just for something different. Make all three of them a little bit different. At the end of my video on YouTube, I will have the list of um, items that will be needed so that you can pause the video and write everything down if you need to. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you again soon. Thank you very much. Bye.